So let's kick it off with the full frame sensor in the camera. I think despite the price, the most attractive thing about, the, about this camera is its sensor. Uh, it's a 26 megapixel CMOS sensor and I think the images that come out of this camera are really beautiful. They're really easy to manipulate in post. Um, and yeah, I think that's really one of the biggest draw cards uh, about this camera. If you are going to buy this camera in 2023, you really do need to consider getting additional batteries for it. It's definitely a big, big, big con about the camera. We've shot this camera at events, we've shot it in studio, and you always have to have batteries on standby because they do go quite quickly. And I think, if anything, I wish Canon had put the bigger batteries um, in this camera uh, so that the battery life is decent. But yeah, I think if you're going to get this, get at least two additional batteries. So the Canon RP can shoot video and it's, it's not terrible. It can shoot 4K, but it, it will have a crop. Um, it doesn't shoot log, but you can definitely load picture profiles onto the camera to help you get like a bit of a flatter image that you can manipulate in post. Um, so yeah, do, do consider that. I don't think it's, uh, it's heavy on the video side, but if you do wanna grab some, some footage here and there, um, you, you, you definitely get some decent picture out of it. So the RP uses the newer RF mount, the newer Canon RF mount, which I think is amazing, especially paired with, with this sensor. Um, we, we've always had the 35 mil uh, 1.8 that pretty much lives on this camera and it's it's great the autofocus uh, is amazing it's quite snappy um, and we have an 85 mil an aftermarket uh, one that we have on the camera which also has been great um, but yeah just note that there aren't a lot of third-party options when it comes to the RF mounts because Canon kind of just doesn't want anyone to, to, to make the autofocus uh, RF mount stuff. So it is very tricky to find aftermarket lenses that are more budget friendly. Um, uh, despite the RF, uh, Canon RF lenses being so amazing, um, just know that they are quite steep. Um, and I think you still can ad ad adapt the older EF lenses to the camera, uh, but you won't be taking advantage of of the, the mount itself, which I think has a lot to offer. This brings us to, I think, the conclusion of this video, and that is, is the Canon RP still worth getting in 2023? And I think for us, it's a definite yes. If you're looking to get into a full frame sensor, I think this camera makes sense, considering the price and, and what you can really get out of it. Just note that it's not a great hybrid. I think it definitely does lean more towards stills um, but I think as, a, as an entry full frame camera using the best autofocus using the newer technology it's definitely a good option to to buy into so yeah man if you like this video please please uh, give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and leave us some comments at the bottom and don't forget to follow us on the socials and we'll definitely see you on the next one cheers